so thanks for joining me this morning um, I would like to bring something to light um, that I can't believe is still an issue in 2023 there I saw a girl's video recently who where she talked about her um, symptoms that she's having and she told the doctor about it and the doctor said oh <laughs> yeah you're bipolar and the symptoms were hearing a phone ring when it wasn't ringing, uh, feeling bugs crawl on her, hearing someone uh, say or yell her name when quote unquote no one was there, um, smelling something burning, like incense or something, and um, seeing things out of the corner of her eye, seeing movement out of the corner of her eye, and then she looks and nothing's over there. Uh, this is what uh, needs to be said about this. I'll, I'll say it. I'm not afraid. People who do that <laughs> are not bipolar. There's nothing wrong with you. you. You're probably some kind of a channel and or there's people trying to get in touch with you, and that's their way of doing it. This, you don't have a disease. <laughs> You're probably, you know, um, open to, you're not probably, you are open to the spiritual realm. And somebody over there is trying real hard to get your attention because there's something that you need to know. And because of what you've been taught about your own power, which is that it's something to fear, you, and not just the girl in the video, but anyone else who feels this way, went to the doctor, you know, expecting whatever kind of diagnosis and um, that so now now you've got what you expected because you've been taught that something's wrong with you when you have those symptoms now you're gonna take you know a pill that you're given or a few that are supposed to you know calm that down or you know lock it up airtight you know so that you don't quote unquote have those problems anymore and I'm astonished. I'm astonished at the people in the comments of that video who said, "Yeah, I have this too. That's so weird. I always hear people calling my name. Yeah, I have. I have it. Well, at least I know I'm just bipolar. Well, at least I know I'm just bipolar. Oh, well, so I just have this diagnosis. Okay, well, that's cool. And, that, and I was blown away by that. Absolutely blown away because I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know what to do with people anymore." In this day and age, if if people aren't going to accept, uh, considering how late in the game we are and how far we've come with everything, or at least I guess we think we have, considering our progress, if you will, and for people to still sit there and say, oh, well, you know, I'm not really, there's no spirit world, I'm just losing my mind. I, I don't know, I don't even know what to do with that. I have no idea what to even do with that because you you're a medium <laughs> you're prop if you're not a medium if you're not like a full-blown hardcore medium you are at least someone who is very open who does not have their their guard up with the spirit realm and you are open to the the incoming messages or at least somebody trying to get your attention someone on the other side is trying to tell you something and like I say, because you've been taught to fear your own power so that your women especially are taught to fear power in general. Um, you know, we're taught that that's something you have to look out for and you can't trust it. And for the most part, it, that's been true throughout history. We can't trust people who are in power because they use our bodies against us and everything else. So that being the situation, you've been taught to fear power so that you'll give up your own. And this is that situation. Yeah, it's so weird. And, and then one, and then one person actually commented. I couldn't believe this, and said, "Yeah, it's so fucking weird." I'm gonna say what I said again. One person commented and said, um, "Yeah, that's so weird." As I'm going to sleep, I'll hear somebody like yell my name, and then I jerk, I jerk my body and sit up, and there's no one there. Oh, at least I'm just, at least I'm just bipolar. You know, there's nothing really. We're not educated on this stuff because we're taught to not believe in it and we're taught to not believe in our own spiritual power. So now you've got somebody trying desperately to get a hold of you 
in the moments when your your guard is down and you're most vulnerable when you will really be able to hear it and and get the damn message and instead because of what you've been taught about fearing your own power and fearing things that you know you don't understand you've been told to either call it demonic or to just disregard it altogether and you know, just pretend it's not there and then go take a pill and, and you know imagine that it's going away well, the pill isn't going to change the spirit world trying to get in touch with you. <laughs> I hate to tell you that. I hate to, you know, be a bitch, but uh, <laughs> your ancestors are still going to try to talk to you whether you've you got a stomach full of pills or not. So, um, whatever they w <laughs> whatever they might be, I, don't, I, I'm t I, just, I can't believe, I can't believe in 2023 this is still up for debate. I can't believe it. I thought everybody knew by now. I thought everybody had figured this the fuck out. I'm not trying to be a jerk, but I, I'm just I'm just surprised. I don't know why. Um, it's like I want to have more faith in people, you know. And then th there's always something that just kind of throws me off. But this, if you let me, I want to explain the going to sleep thing, okay? Because that that seems to be uh, people are confused by this. As you're going to sleep, and as you're waking up, your brain enters a state where it's in a limbo kind of a state. It's in a subliminal state. And in that subliminal state, your your guard is down. And it's like a it's like a pathway that's open. And anything's possible on that pathway. Anything can cross that pathway. This is when you do, you know, your manifestation, meditations, whatever. Or if you get in a really good meditation, you can get to this state, you know, while you're awake, sitting up or whatever. And this state that your brain gets into, it's, it, 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 anything's possible in there, in that little realm. And once you're there, you can either... If you want to manifest or whatever you you imagine the thing that you want in your life and how good it'll feel and or some goal you want to accomplish and how good it'll feel when the goal is accomplished or whatever it is you're wanting you get in that state the theta state and you can do it like I've done it and <clears throat> this is a real thing it's I'm not blowing smoke I'm smoke up your ass like I, I don't tell y'all shit if I haven't done it myself <laughs> so I mean, the reason I know it works is because I've done it. And when you're, so what, as you're going to sleep, that's going to be a, a real important time where you're vulnerable and your guard is down and your filters are down. And that is going to be the moment when you hear someone say or yell your name. I have had that happen to me more times than it's worth trying to count. It's because that's that they can finally get to you because your brain is your brain has hit a certain point where it, it allows for it, <clears throat> but you're still conscious enough that you it, it once you control it once you learn how to control it and tap into it and really navigate that you can you can do whatever you want in that in that state and you can certainly create whatever you want in that state um, and you don't have to stay in that state for like 20 minutes or whatever it's not like that you can do you can go there for like five minutes meditate, whatever, create the life you want, snap out of it, and then start your day. <clears throat> but when you hear your name called and it startles you, it's because you haven't gotten used to how to take advantage of that state that you're in and how to use it to, to um, make your life better or communicate or whatever. But everybody on the other side who's watching and waiting to finally just say something to you is waiting for you to figure that shit out and it's having to wait for you to realize that you're in a very powerful uh, place when your brain hits that spot and your energies are open to you know whatever and nine times out of ten, it's just somebody, it's probably an ancestor or somebody who's been watching you who just wants to get a message across to you, either for you or possibly for somebody else. <clears throat> I'm no psychic medium, so don't go around telling everybody I'm some kind of a fucking fraud. Because I'm not claiming that. I don't have to claim that. 
Um, but I'm just telling you, that's what it is. I don't know how else to put it. There's no other way to say this. And not to me, anyway. Um, and I, but that was, um, you know, that was really, yeah, that, that was, it made me kind of sad. <clears throat> All those people, especially women, you know, because men have a tendency to just kind of ignore it altogether, you know, if it doesn't, if it doesn't fit their agenda. If it's not about them, they'll, they'll, they'll go past it, you know, they'll bypass it. Um, <clears throat> when really, it, it actually is about them, but because they don't want to, <laughs> they got a bad habit of not wanting to acknowledge anything that's greater than them, so, you know, you don't hear, you're not going to hear from in anyone, but especially like a strange man, or one that knows you, I suppose, you know, who's really benefiting from you being around, who, who, uh, sits up and says, oh, no, you just need to go to the fucking doctor, you're hearing fucking voices, you fucking crazy, you know, that's just, like, please, if there's, if you're gonna ignore something, please don't ignore yourself, ignore his motherfucking ass, you, do us, do us all a favor and ignore him, because you've got the spirit world trying to talk to you, <laughs> and, uh, I, I don't know, and people are gonna laugh at this, and I don't really care, because I already know what the fuck I'm saying, because I, I've done this, and the reason the system, especially, um, wants to silence anybody who has a connection to the other side like that or has like an open, you know, highway like that and who can really do it, um, or anybody who's like even starting to learn how to do that without realizing that, you know, people that are hearing voices, hearing their name called, seeing stuff, looking around, you know, in the corner of their eye, whatever. They run to the doctor. We're taught to run to the doctor and say, "Oh my God, you know, I'm, I'm seeing things. I'm scared. I'm scared. Scared. Scared of what? What do you say? Oh, I'm scared of what? We what scared of. We scared of. You know, you, you say you don't believe in shit. Oh, I don't believe in all that. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, then, so what are you scared of? I don't know. It's just creepy. Well, okay, but can you like? be grown and like give me some sentences to explain why you're scared oh I don't know well I'm not trying to be a bitch but it's like y'all got to get it together you just got to get it together if if somebody's trying to talk to you then god damn it they're just trying to talk to you you probably have some ancestor or a grandmother that intended for you to inherit something or some shit and somebody's trying to tell you something or you have an enemy and uh, somebody's trying to get your attention to let you know. It could be anything. I don't know. But I'm telling you, it's it's not for nothing. And it's not to mock you and it's not to make you feel like you're losing your mind because you're not. There's nothing wrong with you. You don't have a goddamn disease. You're probably just a fucking witch. Get over yourself. Accept it. Accept your power. And fucking move on. You know, it's amazing. It's, it, it baffles me. That in 2023, we've got to still teach women to accept their power. You know, look how far we, we, we call ourselves coming. Look, look how far we think we've come. Oh, well, you know, we can do the same, most of the same jobs men do, blah, blah, blah. Uh, well, all of them really now, I suppose. There's women construction crews and everything, so you know, it can't be that hard. Um women brain surgeons too so <laughs> we, we've checked all the other boxes I mean but but still and you don't see men walking around telling you oh well yeah I talked to the spirit world and they said blah blah when I heard my name called I knew that blah 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 you don't hear them saying that shit they're not gonna say that to you do you know why because they think it's bullshit do you know why because they don't want to believe anything's greater than them so when you go to the doctor especially if it's a man well a woman doctor would be trained the same way I suppose but um, the women doctors are going against their nature, so that's even worse. But especially when you go there and it's a man psychologist or worse, a man psychiatrist, and you tell him your problems, he says, okay, you need this pill. <coughs> this pill will make you feel better. This pill will help you not hear your name being called. This pill will help you not see things. This pill will help you not feel bugs crawling on you. This pill will help you, you know... Uh, whatever, and you just take a pill, and then, like, you know, it dies down, or whatever. Just because you're taking something 
that shuts you off from receiving messages and from uh, somebody trying to get your attention it doesn't mean the problem has gone away. It's not, it doesn't work that way. Your mind is being blocked by chemicals that are not allowing you to get into any other kind of a state in, in your brain besides hypervigilance or, you know, running on a... No, you're not the only one. Why the fuck would you be the only one? That doesn't make any sense. How would you be the only one? There's seven billion something people on the planet. How are you the only one that's doing anything? That, that makes no sense. But especially how the fuck would you be the only one who is is hearing things and seeing movement and creatures and shit out of the corner of your eye or having nightmares about, you know, somebody climbing through your window and hearing the phone ring and smelling stuff burning. All of these things are symptoms of somebody trying to get a hold of you and your your pathway your phone line is open you know your your lot your talk line is open and it's just somebody trying to get your attention but because of what you've been taught like I say women especially are taught to fear power so that they will give up their own all of that has been all of this has been finely tuned and very well planned out and laid out so that you will give up on yourself and hand over yourself, body, mind, and soul <clears throat> to this system that is still run by men and, and or people, men or women that hate women. Especially with the arguing that's going on right now about laws and what we're allowed to do between our own legs. That doesn't make any sense. So... If, if, you know, in case you're not in the know, or you don't watch the news or whatever, neither do I. But I still get my, I still get updates. Um, you know, there's still uh, people trying to crush women. You know, the transgender bathrooms, because I believe the men's bathrooms there. The this the going story is that the men's bathrooms are left alone, and the women's bathrooms are just turned into trans bathrooms. So. <clears throat> um, they're, they're trying to they're trying to erase you <laughs> they, uh, this has been going on for 6,000 years ever since monotheism was brought to this planet th that's how long it's been going on so at least 6,000 years we've been we've had the boot on our throat and uh, th that's I don't, I don't understand why people are still like confused about this but this system is the same goddamn system that's been in place since then. And it's the same system that's telling you, oh, uh, well, you know, something's wrong with you. Uh, you got to get your shit together. Take this pill. You'll feel better. You know, I was reading about lobotomies being done on women, you know, because they were so goddamn miserable being housewives. And I didn't know this, but they took a, a pinpoint thing, a needle type of thing, and stuck it through their eye socket without having to like crack their skull or whatever. Suck it up into their eye socket, like up into the prefrontal cortex kind of. And a prefrontal uh, lobe, I mean, sorry, not cortex. Um, and jiggled it around <clears throat> and then took the needle out and that was supposed to calm you down to where you wouldn't have anxiety. And I, I didn't know that. So, and then before that, you know, it was burning witches and then, um, all, all, you know, all those places in between, it was like, um, telling you you had hysteria or whatever, you know, because you were miserable. Oh, well, she's, she's unhappy. So y'all only screw for three minutes and it has to be whenever you want. And she's never climaxed and she can't breathe because the corset and you won't help her, uh, you won't buy anything for her. And she ha she has to give up all her friends because she married you. And, 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 oh, she's got hysteria. Yeah, she's, she's nuts. Let's, let's, uh, you know, switch her brain out for our cows, you know, or whatever. So, <laughs> this shit, you know, or let's, let's burn her clit off or cut it off one and, you know, she'll, she'll feel better. Well, I mean... I just the, the 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 number of women who are 
oblivious or unaware of this or who have, uh, I, I always have to assume that at this point, just actively ignoring history and the situation we're still in is, is heartbreaking to me. The fact that they won't pay attention, it's heartbreaking. People in general don't pay attention. I've done enough retail jobs in the past where I, I, I know that. Like, because when you're standing at the register ringing somebody up and you have to tell them the process, like walk them through it, tell them to look at the credit card machine. The credit card machine's asking something. The credit card machine's asking something. You gotta look down here. You gotta look down here. You gotta sign here. You know, okay, do you want so and so? Okay, I gotta offer you this card. Do you want this? You know, and it's just like there's so much stuff that has to be done and they don't know what they're buying. People don't fucking pay attention. I swear to God, they don't. So it's like on one hand, I should be used to that. But on the other hand, business and you have no excuse to be ignoring your situation at this point. And, and more so, further, you have no business and you have no excuse to be ignoring your powers. Okay. And I don't mean to be condescending or whatever. It's not, that's not my intention. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I mean it very matter of factly. You have no excuse to be ignoring your powers right now and you have no fucking business ignoring your powers because we need you especially if you're hearing voices and seeing things and if you're feeling bugs crawl on you that and maybe more to the point somebody could have sent something after you um i don't know if i've ever felt bugs crawling crawling on me i don't know i don't think i've had that <clears throat> um but Stuff mainly happens for me in my dreams. That's that's usually where things go down for me, for the most part. I still have the stuff in the corner of my eye, hear my name called, blah, 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 all the rest of it. I was, yeah, the, uh, yeah, but usually in the dream world is where, you know, they like to party with me. So <laughs> it's where things get real active. But, I, I mean, I'm not trying to, like I say, I'm not trying to be condescending or, or trying to hurt y'all's feelings or, or talk down to you. It, that's not my intention. I'm sure someone will take it that way, and that's if you do, fine, but I just, you gotta know. <laughs> you just, you gotta know. It's not a disease. There's nothing wrong with you. The question is not what's wrong with you, the question is what happened to you. <clears throat> so, doctors are so eager. And the thing is, when you go there and tell them, well, I'm, I'm hearing voices, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm seeing things. The doctors, y'all don't know this, but they get paid to hand out medicines from certain companies that are trying to um, make money and get people hooked on shit. They get paid to hand out those medicines to people. So when you go there and tell them what's going on with you, and he says, oh yeah, well, I got just the thing. You take this, you know, and you let me know how you're doing. Come back in a month or whatever, two weeks or something like that. And then you go back and you, yeah, and you know, if the pill works, you tell them it works and then, and then you're on it, you know, indefinitely. Like for how long, how long are you supposed to take that pill? And then when you're going to do, if you run out and the pharmacy can't fill it because they're closed or they can't get it in stock and you're calling around like a maniac looking for somebody who's got this pill because you're hearing voices now and it's even worse than it ever was, you know, just because you, you were, you were working against it so hard that now that you're going a day or two without it for one reason or another it's it's amplified it's like multiplied <clears throat> and i'm just like all i can all i can think is you know bless your heart you know you just know just so i don't know I, i'm trying not to be cruel about this but i don't know how else to say this i mean this this has to be said um yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I was, I was dumbfounded. I was, I was heartbroken by the comments I saw in that girl's video about, oh my God, well, at least I just know I'm bipolar and I just go get a pill, you know, and this will go away. Let me just go take a pill and crush my psychic power. Is that really what you want to do? Why, you know, if this is not a time, this, this time in our history right now, the point that we're at, is not a time or a point at which we need to be still, you know, stifling our power. Our ancestors did not go through the shit they went through, being burned, you know, having their um, female organs fooled with by some man, 
who didn't like us, you know, uh, being in, you know, uh, having anything, <clears throat> um, being doped up, having lobotomies, all those women in the 50s, all those housewives on Xanax. Take Xanax, you'll feel better. You'll enjoy washing the dishes by hand every goddamn day. If you just take a Xanax, you'll forget all about how miserable you are, and you'll be his slave forever, and you'll be happy about it, God damn it. You know, that, our grandmothers were guinea pigs. They were just guinea pigs. From It's always, it, I don't know how, I, I can't believe this is like a, a mystery. I can't believe no one's, I, they're, they're, well, I can't say no one. But I can't believe there's so many people that just don't know this. How do you not know? What have you been doing with your life? What have you been doing? You know, it, this isn't a, t a point in our history where we can, uh, where we need to be ganging up on each other or um, shutting down the powers we've got. We're more powerful now than we ever have been, you know, in the history of monotheism. And so that's, you're talking about 6,000 years of us being, you know, basically in chains and, you know, being told that no one knows uh, anything about our climax and, you know, good luck and if you can't do it, something's wrong with you. I thought something was wrong with me, too. I thought something was wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. You just haven't gotten with anybody that fucking knows what they're doing. My advice would be to do it on your own. And after that, you'll probably never fuck again because you won't have to. No offense, but I mean, you know, <laughs> once you figure yourself out, that cuts out a lot of work. And that cuts out a lot of worry and it cuts out a lot of outsourcing. And it won't be a problem after that. You just, it'd be like, but anyway, yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm just heartbroken, I guess, that it, it that we're still at a point where, you know, women are, are confused about their own fucking spiritual power. What, can a girl confuse hell about what? About what? Confused shit. Your ancestors or somebody or your spirit guides or somebody who's watching over you is trying their damnedest to get your attention to tell you something important that's an important job you're in an important position <clears throat> what's there to be scared of what the darkness you are the darkness Stevie Nicks said I'm a cat in the dark and, and yet I am the darkness that's you you are the unknown I don't know why this is like up for debate <clears throat> you are the unknown that's why men have been trying to crush you for so long Sweetheart, <laughs> you know, bless your heart, you poor, you poor precious baby. You just don't know, do you? You know, it's like I don't know what I don't know what else to do. I don't know how else to convey this message. Like, <laughs> if you're not some kind of a medium, you are at least a witch. <laughs> like, get over yourself. Get over yourself. Get your courage up. And then fucking, you know, examine it. Research yourself. Dive into it. We're afraid of the unknown shit. You're afraid of yourself? For what? For what? For fucking what? 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 Afraid of yourself? Shit. <laughs> I might have been afraid when I was 19. Hell, I'm 36 now. Afraid of what, bitch? I'm not afraid of shit. I'm not afraid of a goddamn thing. Something wants to come in my room at 3 in the morning? Shit. Be there, be square. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> I can't, for what? Afraid of some man climbing through my window uh, at two in the morning? I have weapons for that. I will paint the town red if you know what I mean. Not afraid. I'm not afraid either way. It's just do it. Fucking do it. Fucking do it. Afraid of what? See, this is the attitude that I want you to have because you 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 would be unstoppable with an attitude like that. Fucking unstoppable. I don't get it. Choose that attitude and be done with it. Just choose that attitude and be done with it. And yes, you have to retrain your brain every damn day. You have to retrain your brain to not hate yourself, to not squash yourself, to not crush yourself, to not limit yourself, to not hate yourself. I know I already said that. I'm saying it twice because it's such a big problem for women because our um, self-esteem, and this is worldwide, by the way, our self-esteem plummets when we hit um, adolescence plummets 
And that's not a coincidence. It's not a goddamn coincidence. It's planned that way because it's easier for men to control us when we fucking hate ourselves. I don't know how that's a mystery. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I just started hating myself when I was a teenager. Yeah, I know. We all did. It's because it's easier for them to control us. If you hate yourself, you're not going to stand up against anybody and you're not going to stand up for what you believe in because you won't even know what you believe in because you'll hate yourself. You'll be so busy, you know, playing your own suicide. You're not going to, nothing else is going to matter. I was there. That's why I'm saying that. I have planned my suicide many, 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 many times. <laughs> And it, it is, it, the more you hate yourself and the more you belittle yourself in any possible way, it's easier for them to get what they fucking want from you, which is anything and everything. You, you're, you'll clean up after them and you'll screw them when they want and you'll take care of them like a baby, which is real awkward to have to do for somebody to, to it's like taking care of a baby that, that you have to, that you also have to screw to keep the peace with. And that's like one of the worst things in my life besides burying my father is having to do that kind of shit with men it's real fucking awkward it's real awkward because it's like looking after a child but you also have to get naked with them to, to to keep them happy it's fucking bizarre so fucking bizarre because i'm still having to scrub the shit stains out of your underwear because you won't wash your goddamn ass because <clears throat> you won't use the goddamn washcloth in the shower with soap on it so yeah, and I'm making sure that you eat, because if I don't, you know, you'll you'll uh, fuss and fight like a two-year-old. But I'm, but then but but you're grown, so I'm, I'm so you have to screw. So it's like, oh, well, that 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 boundary right there is blur. It's like just awkward, isn't that awkward? Is that not awkward to anyone else? I know I'm not the only one that thinks that. Like I said earlier, there's seven billion fucking people on this planet. I'm not the only son of a bitch that's ever thought that. <laughs> I refuse to believe that. No, nothing is original anymore, y'all. We've been here too long. <clears throat> so, but I, I know I touch on a lot of different subjects when I'm trying to stay on one. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I, you know, digress a lot, but I know I do that. But I'm trying to, I, I, I'm trying to put things in perspective. I'm trying to help you understand. I'm just trying to help you understand what, what the fucking situation is. And I want you to understand that this is not a time in human history where women need to be um, putting their head down, you know, and, and drudging on, you know, like th this isn't the time for that. We, we, like I said earlier, we've had, we've got more power now than we ever fucking have. We're allowed to go to school and be surgeons. We're allowed to get in the army and climb the ranks. We're allowed to run our own business. We're allowed to call the police when, when a man hits us. Uh, cause, cause there was a time when we couldn't do any of that shit. And if he hit you, well, bitch, what did you do? You know, it was that. And it was like that even up into the eighties. And that was after women's so-called liberation. So, um, I mean, some of it did liberate us, you know, some things did, at least we got birth control, but, um, you know, the, we've come a long way. We've come a really long way in a short amount of time considering the previous 6,000 fucking years. And this is not a, a time in our age uh, of, of world history for us to be saying, oh, well, you know, I'm seeing things. Jesus, God, I got to go to the doctor. Fuck me, mate. You know, uh, I got to get the right pill for the, you know. No, no, you, you <laughs> your ancestors are trying to talk to you, <laughs> period. Just accept it. Just accept it. You've accepted other shit. You've accepted other shit. You've accepted men's behavior. Oh, boys will be boys. Yeah, I, we know. You've accepted that you're only going to make so much at a job. You're only going to get paid. You're never going to be able to surpass $15 an hour. You've accepted that, so that's your reality now. You've accepted that your hair is falling out. You're accepted that you're never going to lose weight. So you've solidified all these other shit things that, that are now part of your reality that don't fucking have to be. But then you won't accept your fucking power? What the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? And this would be the same women that are afraid of other women who are fucking successful. And if your feelings are hurt, I'm not sorry. Because you, you need to hear this. Somebody's got to tell you. It may as well be somebody that fucking cares about you. I care about you. If I didn't, I wouldn't be in the fucking business I'm in right now. I care. That's why I'm saying it. This is the same with best friends. Uh, if a best friend sees another best friend, you know, doing the wrong thing, uh, she's going to say something. 
you know, men will pull that, well, it's none of my goddamn business, you know, so they don't have responsibility or whatever, so they don't, so they don't have, the, the, so they're not, you know, accountable, but with women, uh, <clears throat> we're, we're responsible for the world at large, and <laughs> we're responsible for people surviving and life going on, so we have to correct things when they're wrong, and uh, I'm, that's my job, is, is to point shit out to you. And that's also why, like I said before, I'm going to be working on a course about how to tap into your dark feminine because that's exactly what I'm doing right now. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm the part that, that comes up to the surface that says, hey, you know, you should really look at this because this is getting in your way. And people usually run and hide, you know, because they don't want to deal with it. You can't do that anymore. You can't run anymore. There is no more running. No pill is going to stop your ancestors or your spirit guides or, or, or whoever your deity is that's trying to get in touch with you. Whoever it is. Whoever it is. <clears throat> a, a fucking, uh, you know, they might give you something for focus. I don't know. Vivance or some shit. You know, but, the, but Adderall is not going to stop them from trying to get a hold of you. They'll still try. But if your guard is up and you're, and you're deaf to it. You know, maybe they one day they'll give up, and then you you won't know because you won't need. You've been on the pill so long; it doesn't. You know, you're not gonna know one way or another, and you've lost that power. And then you'll be old. You'll be like, oh yeah, you know, I heard voices, but I took this, and I'll, I'm, I've been hunky dory since you know, uh, 2003. And I, you know, you'll be like 80 years old and be telling your grandchildren about it, and and then they're gonna get scared when they hear it, and then they're gonna take whatever's pill is out there in 2050. And God knows what that's going to be. Because the shit they're giving you now sure as fuck isn't good for you. Yes, I've been a pharmacy tech, but don't think for a fucking second that I believe in that system. The job paid good. That's it, bro. That's it. I don't believe in that shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Blood pressure medicine? Goddamn. You eat some salad. You know, go for a walk. There's a million things you can do to, to, to get healthy. A million things. So many options in this world today. We're not like farmers living out in the middle of nowhere just growing potatoes and turnips. You got other things you could be doing. There's so much you could do. There's so many, there's such a variety of food. We got food at the fucking store that's available 24 seven because of greenhouses and shit like that. It doesn't matter what's in season or not. Just go, you know, so there's no, there's no, what's holding you back? I'm not trying to be a bitch, I'm just, uh, this has to be said, you know, and for, for women to be shutting down their power in 2023, and you're sitting there snuffing voluntarily, and not just voluntarily, but eagerly snuffing out your spiritual power is, is heartbreaking to me, absolutely heartbreaking. It's astonishing to me. You know, it's just astonishing, <clears throat> and it's and it hurts to see it. It really does because you could be so much more. You could be so much more if you would just stop fucking around for five fucking minutes, and you could just be so much more. <clears throat> 